Hi everyone, it's Anthony back with another video and today I just wanted to give some quick progress on this massive, uh, what's it, 120 by 100 uh, custom uh, diamond painting that I picked up. Um, as you can see, it's all been sectioned off into a massive release paper section by section kind of grid, but it makes the squares a little bit more approachable. I haven't had as much uh, time to diamond paint as I would like to, um, but I just want to give a quick update, but the main event is a couple unboxing. So I'm just going to mention um, here with this canvas, I'm just going to move it slightly just so you can see the area that I have been working on. So if you can see that there. So this is um, it in right the right orientation. So this should be kind of the um, the motorcycle or dirt bike tire. I think you can see the rest of the image of the tire there underneath that release paper. And as far as detailing goes, it's fine. Um, it is a mess of confetti. And I'm not sure what it looks like at that distance. I've only ever seen it from, you know, the height of me standing up but the color rendering is a little off. You can tell that this is kind of supposed to be the line, the silver line kind of around the tire, kind of goes from more of like a whitish color down to kind of silver and then to green, because I think it's all blending in with that green and kind of brown background of the, of the kind of wooded area. And then you can see the tire because it had little bits and bobs of dirt and stuff, and it generally wasn't a solid black tire. They've done it in this kind of shade of gray with some little black specks where it was the darkest. And as I get further away from it, or if I'm walking past it, you know, even if I'm walking down the hall and kind of look over and see it, it looks fine. But you get any closer than like six feet and the colors just look kind of wrong. So I'm hoping that it does look better and I don't expect people to be up close um, to this and I'm hoping that they look, you know, it's being viewed at a distance because the shape is all there. It's just the colors aren't quite right. They just look a little bit strange, um, but I'm, I'm curious to see what it looks like from a distance. I'm wondering if it's even giving kind of a 3D effect with the way it's been shaded because of the tread in the tires, but up close you can't really tell. I'm not able to see what that looks like from like a proper angle. So I'm curious to see what it looks like when it's actually done. This project's gonna take me a long time. Um, these squares, each of these sections has been taking uh, about an hour to two hours, depending on you know how much confetti there is. I worked a little bit on this side too, but then when I, I reoriented my table and kind of moved things around my craft room, so now I am able to work on it just straight across. So my goal is gonna be to do one, two, three, four. So these four sections, churn, four, churn, four, and then do the last like six squares in the middle or seven or nine squares in the middle. So that's the goal. That way I'm not like touching a bunch of sticky stuff and essentially I'll be working my way in. I have liked, and keep in mind this is a paint with diamonds canvas, but um, the drill quality is pretty darn great. This is my, oh no, where did it go? Did I spill it? Oh no, maybe I spilled, oh no, here it is. Here is my trash tray. So you've seen I've done probably a total of four sections total and here's my trash so far. Just this weird little flake that was in there and then this little bit. I haven't had to set aside a single bad knobbly bit stuck together drill. And then these are my drills that I dropped on the floor and have been picking up so far. So I've got six of those that I need to find the home for eventually. But yeah, that trash tray is literally just two little flecks and I have fully kitted everything up and I haven't really been seeing too much mess. Um, no issues that I've been noticing, severe issues with popping drills. In the moment that I'm placing them, I have noticed it if I have gone really close up to the next one and really snapped it into place. But if I do a little bit of straightening and then each night when I'm done with the section, I've been going over it with my roller and just a nice press with the roller has kept everything in place. I'm not noticing any popping drills, even though the spacing for this is, is pretty darn tight. That is the one thing that if you are kind of a haphazard placer like I am and go back through and adjust to clean up, you're going to struggle, I think, with this canvas because those drills, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they are right up next to each other. It makes me curious how this will do from a popping drill standpoint over time, 
but I love the fact that there isn't any gapping because it really makes the picture and the image look clean um, without those black spaces or odd spaces in between, but they are just snapped right up next to each other with not a lot of give. So um, I do find myself having to, um, sometimes if I really misplace one, I just have to grab my tweezers, yank it off and try again. Um, the other thing I found that's really helpful is I do a little bit of kind of color searching. So just kind of using the release paper under my hand and placing them in that field that I have open. But the I can't wait to get to some color blocking because the best way I've found to place with this canvas is to place from your placed edge out. So using those placed drills as kind of your guide for snapping them in. Um, rather than free placing because there's a little bit more room for error when you're just kind of placing a floating drill out there and a bunch of adhesive. So that's that. But we're going to leave this out because I honestly have nowhere else to put it. It's got to stay on the table. Um, actually, I want to do an unboxing of a kit. Okay, I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to move it. Oh my god, this is scary. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Just, just snagged you. This thing is huge. Oh my god goodness. Okay, we're gonna lay that down. Actually, what's funny is when it's on the ground, it doesn't look that big. <laughs> but once you're, when, when you are working on it, it's a quite the undertaking. Oh wow, I've never seen it fully laid out on the ground. Oh, and that tire does have a 3D effect from far away. Oh, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> I might be changing my mind about that color rendering. It makes sense from far away. Interesting. Okay, maybe that's all I needed. I just needed to trust the process as, I, I, I think Rachel Ray and Miss Coffee have said that, but trust the process. So the first thing that I want to share with you all, and I hope I didn't knock you too far askew, is a order that I placed just a few days ago. I think this was on Saturday night from Diamond Painting with Sparklers, DP with Sparklers. I'm so excited. So I was actually on um, Nick's Dark Sky or Nick's Notions Live and Tima was the special guest. So they were just talking about product and I had been wanting to get some um, specialty drills or special drills for that dirt bike canvas and just some other canvases that I'm working on. But I wanted to see the canvases first and take a look at the colors and make some decisions from there. I fully intend, I'm just cracking this open, um, fully intend on making more purchases as I kind of look at my canvases and look at the colors and just kind of do my own little kind of specialty drill charting. Um, so this first order had some stuff that I plan on using on this canvas, the dirt bike, but then I just grabbed some other colors that looked interesting that I might use in the future. Um, so I just kind of went a little nuts with my first order, at least I think I did. Um, they come packaged in this beautiful little baggie. Um, so I, I just kind of got a variety of things and I figure I can just work them into my canvases here and there. And if I need extras, I can order extras. Um, so we've got this package here. Um, we've got a packing slip. I'm not gonna show that. I'm sure it's got my address on it, but there's some fun stuff in here. Let's see. Awesome. Well, thank you. How cute. Um, so this sticker, it's very, very sparkly. We have our um, business card with some um, original squares, uh, sparklers for squares. Awesome. And then we have a little sparklers sticker as well. And then this first bag, let's see what's in here. We have um, quad cubes. These are the gun metal quad cubes. If you haven't heard of quad cubes, essentially they are a square drill, but they're the size of four drills. They, they take up the space of either four square or found, uh, four round drills. You can use them on both styles of diamond paintings. And wow, they've got some weight to them. So I get really close up. You can see it's kind of that gunmetal metallic color. I plan on using these potentially in the headlight of that uh, dirt bike 
or I will hold on to these and use them if I've got a cluster of, um, you know, B5200 or something silvery in like a galaxy painting, and I've got a cluster of them to represent a star, I might use these. I could use these as eyes if I'm doing an animal eye or, um, you know, somebody's face, do an eye for the with that. But they take up the spot of four, and these are, um, I don't think we have prices here, we don't. But you get a hundred in this packet here, a hundred quad cubes. So those are pretty cool. I hadn't really seen anything like that. This next one is going to be an AB712, and these are jelly um, drills, square drills, but they're glow. These are a glow-in-the-dark drill. So these I'm looking um, especially forward to using them in a like a galaxy or space painting, using one, these once again in place of those stars or where there might be um, some white or light yellow and then getting some glow out of my canvas at night. I think that'll look really cool. So there's those AB Jelly Glows. Next up we have gold metallic squares. No specific DMC color or anything like that. It's just kind of called gold metallic. I am thinking I would like to use these um, anytime I have a square drill canvas that's got like jewelry maybe. Um, I need to get them in rounds for that Marie Laveau canvas, but I was thinking maybe these would be nice in the the Kiss, the Kiss uh, painting from Diamond Art Club that I might do for Summer with the Masters. So I just thought I'd pick them up and just kind of use them where I see fit. Then we have Silver Metallic. These I plan on using once again, space canvases, anywhere there's jewelry, maybe on that headlight again um, on the dirt bike just to give it some extra sparkle and shine. Um, but yeah, I feel like the silver and gold, I can find use for those in a lot of different canvases. So that's why I picked those up. And then I also got the gunmetal metallic. So once again, maybe cool for a space themed canvas or anywhere where I wanna add that little bit of shimmer. Um, um, without that AB reflection. I thought they'd be a nice option. And so that was kind of all the individuals that I got. And then the last thing that I got was a square AB drill mini set. So this is, I think it was about 600 square, or 600 drills per bag. And it just came in a set of, I think there might be 30 colors in here. Um, I don't remember exactly how many colors. So we'll just run through these. These are all square AB drills. I just kind of want to show you the quality. They So far what I'm seeing, it looks excellent. So this is 550. These are all ABs. And um, T-Bond just puts them in kind of little sample packs. So you have enough to do some small detailing here and there, but you don't have a ton. And it gives you the option to try a variety of different colors and just have a little bit at your disposal should you want to add just a little bit of flair to a canvas without having to order an entire set of maybe maybe a color that you don't see very often in your painting. So um, 550, 947, I love that iridescent coating. That is so awesome. I'm just going to crank through these because there's a lot. Um, we have 445. We have, oh, a little cover minder. A little teeny tiny one. Look at that little crystally heart. That's awesome. Cool. 210. 310. Oh, I love those black IBs. I love how those, that iridescent coating really um, kind of is showing off with those darker colors. 666. Got 995. Ooh, loose boy, little loose one, 701. I need to remember to pull these from the zippy side up. Sometimes I tell myself that and then still forget. 775, I love that kind of sky blue. This is 3607. We've got 712. We've got, let's see what else we have here, 68. Oh, wait, sorry, 819. <laughs> 819, that could also be 618. <laughs> 600, love that color. 704, once again, really like that one. I like the kind of bright poppy colors, but then when I'm painting, sometimes I prefer more muted tones. I, I, I go back and forth. 820, look at that AB on that kind of navy. Wow, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
605. Three thirty-three, another one that really shows off that iridescent coating. B fifty. Oh, this is called fifty-two hundred. Fifty-two hundred. Thirty seventy-eight. Thirty-eight twelve. I'm just gonna shake all these out. We're gonna really crank through these now. Okay, four fourteen. It's kind of a gray. Thirty-seven forty-seven. 807, 741, 321, those are nice, 3862, I don't like a, t a brown kind of AB, interesting, 963, 815, that burgundy, really like that, 3818, shows off the iridescent really well, and then last one that I dropped on the ground, 352, kind of a peach. So there's that. That is, other than the drills that are now on the ground, that spilled out of that bag a little bit, um, <laughs> and they're over here. Um, so that's that. That's what I ordered from DP with Sparklers. Um, like I said, this is just kind of to get me going. I'm hoping that this little sampler pack will give me plenty to do some detailing work here and there with some square drill canvases. Um, just, you know, some light detail and a good variety so I'm not having to buy, you know, the full size of every single color. I can kind of play with these a little bit and then build from there. But I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these because I feel like these metallics um, can work their way into a lot more canvases. And I'm super curious to see how things go with the quad cubes. So that's that. Let me know if you have any questions with the DP with Sparklers order. I will do, um, I'll work these into my canvases as we go and definitely mention them here and there. That way you kind of have an update on, um, on you know, how I feel the drill quality is, how the, what the colors are looking like compared to, you know, my uh, diamond kit colors. I'm just going to pop these back in the package. Um, I plan on kitting these into um, my square drill storage containers for my extra drills. I plan on putting them in there. I just, I feel like... I'm going to go through all that work of kitting them into the container and then maybe I don't, you know, they won't, one of the colors won't see the light of day for a long time, depending on the colors that I have on my kits. So who knows? Um, I may just, I may just kit them down like I would kit down, you know, the rest of the kit in that moment. Um, and then the, the rest can stay in the package. The other thing I'm going to do really quick while I, while I'm trying to clean off this table, let me just get rid of these drills. I might edit this out, <laughs> who needs to see me cleaning drills, but little extra drills from Team Ha. Um, and then let me get rid of this stuff. I'm gonna put that cover minder. Um, I don't really use them, so I've just been sticking them to my shelving as metal, has a metal frame, just for kind of decoration. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention before we go into the, um, the biggest part of this unboxing is I just wanna give a quick update on my um, Nyx Notions trays. So we've got the black here and the silver here. Um, Nick Dark Sky, whoops, whoops. Nick's was so awesome. Um, I guess, you know, she saw my video where I did an unboxing of these and I had mentioned how I'm loving the slipperiness and the slidiness of the, um, of the gray one as opposed to the black one. Um, you can see the drills just move around like butter in there. And keep in mind, these are uh, my Paint With Diamonds drills. Um, all seem to be really uniform, but they just do such a great job in this tray. This tray, uh, this black submarine, they tend to stick slightly more, and I and it's just the nature of the filament. Um, it's not it's not drastic, but I end up preferring this one. So she said, "Wait until you get your hands on the satin uh, trays. They, if you like that slip in that slide of your drills, you'll love that satin filament." And she was so kind enough to like you know, shoot one over to me. I, ju I just popped up in the mail. I was like, I didn't order anything, did I? And who knows, sometimes I, I place an order and then forget about it. But it just popped in. Um, she wanted me to try the, the satin um, or kind of like the silky filament. And I do really like it. It has the similar slip and slide to the gray, but for whatever reason, I think it's just personal preference. I like 
I just love this tray. I love this tray. I use them both. I use all three of them just as much as the other, um, especially if I'm working on like, I'll just keep this out with the gray um, or with one color. And then I'll have like some of the other ones that have a smaller amount here. That way I can switch and rotate and then I'll actually drop the canister. So I'll put the drills down in here. And then, so I remember what color it is. Um, I have it sitting like this, so when it's not in use, it just kind of goes like that, so I remember which color it is. But yeah, the black is totally serviceable, too. I mean, that's that's more than fine. I mean, they're really slipping around in there, so no problems, but for whatever reason, I don't know why I keep gravitating to the to the gray, uh, gray one. Even the green is totally fine. I'll pop some drills in there, too, just so you can kind of take a look. So I'll pop those bad boys in there. And I did not do that the way I normally would. Typically, well, I've been start now, I've been putting them at the top and then working them down like this and then kind of back and forth, giving it a little shake. But it's totally fine. With my other, um, you know, less expensive um, trays that I picked up on Amazon, I'd get a lot of sticking or they kind of lock, the corners would kind of lock in place. And I don't really get that with these trays. So I'm very happy with the quality of them. So yeah, if I'm not using the color, that's how I will keep it and set it aside until I pull it. Because there's so many times where I've just had this here and this here and the, this jar over here and they're not next to their trays. And sometimes you're working on similar colors, like a couple of different reds and maybe an orange. And then you look down and you're like, wait a minute, which color was that one? And I've done that. I did that with my galaxy painting from Diamond Painting Deutschland, where I ended up mixing up two of the colors for a little while there until I realized what I had done. So I try to do that just to kind of keep it consistent. Um, but yeah, I am such a huge fan this, of these trays. It's been such an upgrade. I ordered a couple more. Um, the I think they're called the shrimp boats to replace these guys. That way I can hold a little bit more drills in there and they shake through nicely. I use these if I'm like at the end of a section and I just have like one letter H or five L's or, you know, six, you know, stop signs to place. I don't do all this because then I have to get my funnel out to get them back in the canister. I just will pour, you know, 10 or 20 in here and work out of this, but I wish it wasn't so flimsy and it has a hard time flipping the drills right side up. So that's what I picked up the shrimp boat for. And then I also got their Twiggy just to, you know, I'm all about, you know, buying from small businesses and trying things out and sharing my opinion. So I will try the range of products that she has to offer. I think there's, a, the ones that I don't think I will be very into are those venti ones with the tall sides, because when I diamond paint, sometimes I'm even, I'm resting my finger or hand on the tray. So having to go even higher to get my hand in there, I think that's going to be, it's like it, probably going to be more tedious and uncomfortable for me. I kind of like just low enough that I can get in there without the trays or the drills spilling everywhere. So this is the perfect height for me. And I think these are a half inch. So, okay. All right. Enough yapping about stuff that isn't the main event for this unboxing. Um, I probably could go on with other things that have been coming in, but um, we are here to unbox a diamond painting, and it is from your friend and mine, Diamond Art Club. So I feel like the Diamond Art Club madness is in a, a fever pitch right now because they are going into their anniversary celebration on this Friday and releasing 50 kits, which is just insanity. So I, every content creator that I have been watching is just doing unboxing, sneak peek after sneak peek after sneak peek, and it's, it's a lot. So this is not a sneak peek. This is an old um, image from Diamond Art Club, and it's something that I, you know, purchased myself. But it might be something that you're interested in, you know, snagging up in your travels to Diamond Art Club over the weekend. So, um... This canvas is called Transparent, and it's by Yume Art, I believe. And this is a round drill canvas, which um, I typically buy mostly squares, unless I'm undistracted by diamonds and I love the artwork too much and I don't care what style. But I typically have been purchasing squares, but this is a round. I just fell in love, just like I mentioned with um, Distracted by Diamonds, I fell in love with this image. 
and they could be round, they could be triangle, I was probably gonna buy it. So um, round, square, triangle, octagon, I love this image. So this, Im this image immediately reminded me, immediately reminded me of a really good friend. She is in, she likes anime and you know, that style of artwork and just has a particular style and it jumped out to me, that and Midnight Laundromat. And so I sent her the, both of those images saying, what do you think? Do you want either of these as a diamond painting? And she was like, that one with the rain is incredible. And I was like, done and done. I'm going to grab that for you. So I'm going to work on this for her. Hopefully it'll be a Christmas gift. We'll see. I, I say that about a lot of stuff. Who knows? A year is coming up quick at the end of the year. I mean, we're, we're almost, we're almost halfway through. So diamond art club toolkit. This is their new toolkit. Um, I mentioned it in my last unboxing, but I don't, I don't particularly care one way or another because um, I have so many toolkits now and I started getting custom diamond painting pens and those types of things. And once you start diamond painting and fall in love with it, you'll find yourself like kind of upgrading your kit in, in certain ways. And I, sometimes the first thing that um, diamond painters will do is upgrade the pen because these plastic flexi pens, they can get uncomfortable, especially with really large, tedious canvases to hold it that small. Um, so you end up getting something thicker. So I have way too many of these. I'm probably not going to hold on to this. Um, we'll see. But um, you get a multi-placer, a single placer, and it's nice that they offer them in every kit. And it makes sense that they, they might not customize that because these all get boxed up, you know, and they I don't know if they necessarily have the manpower to say, Anthony doesn't want a toolkit, so take that one out. But Rebecca does want one, put one in. I think it's easier to say, put them all in there. So there's that. Um, I found another loose AB. These guys are sneaky. Um, you also get a bag of bags, baggies. I don't use these. Um, washi tape I do use, and I really like that pattern. Um, you get a little squishy for your pen. You're gonna get two pads of um, red wax, red heart wax, which I really like. Um, in a container, which the container I could take or leave. Um, you also get a cover minder, which is just decoration for me, but look at that seashell. That's the first time I've seen that. Usually it's a heart. Um, the thing I've been noticing and other people have started to acknowledge it, the adhesive that they use for some of their, um, their cover minders is not great. So a lot of times you'll open that up and the magnet's not even attached. You can glue that back on, do what you will with that, but you know, it's something to make note of and maybe it's something that Diamond Art Club is working on is improving that adhesive quality for their cover binders. You also get a smaller multi-placer. So I think this one might be a four. Yep, it's a four and is this a seven? Yep, four and seven. I don't know if all Diamond Art Club kits have four, seven and single. And then you have this plastic tray. Um, they are, I tried using the last one I got and I don't know if you can tell on camera, this is a bit warped. It's kind of rocky, it's a little wobbly. It doesn't really hold drills consistently because it's just kind of got this like swoop and twist to it. It's just not, to be honest, it's not the highest quality drill tray. So, I mean, thank you for adding, including it, but I would almost prefer like go to something a little bit more rigid like this because they hold their shape. This clear kind of flexi plexi plastic is not ideal. And it also comes with a stopper. So um, that's my criticism of that. But, you know, they're upgrading their trays. They're going to try different things. And it's not like they purchase a few of these from whichever supplier and see how, you know, and then see how it goes. Like once they identify a supplier that they want to utilize, they're going to buy these in mass, you know, hundreds of thousands or thousands of them. So they might have already be working on a resolution for this, but that doesn't mean that these just go in the trash. So it's fine, but something to note that that tray is not, it's not the highest quality, I'll just say that. So there is our little toolkit there. And then let's crack open this canvas. Um, we've got our mini sticky, little mini sticker of the image. Um, this is a 51 by 76 centimeter round, like I said. Here is our plastic cover. Do what makes you sparkle. And I'll say it every time I open a Diamond Art Club um, kit. This canvas, the oh, it's just like 
Oh my gosh. It's, you know that you're dealing with a quality product from the moment you open this plastic baggie. Um, it's just, it's different than anything else I've used. And so far I've used Paint with Diamonds, Diamond Painting Deutschland, Diamond Art Club, an Amazon kit, and I think that might be it. So this is, you know, one of four or five brands that I've used and this one has been phenomenal. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the colors, the colors. I'm gonna open it this way because it's just a little long. Let's see if we can, I don't think we'll be able to get it in that way, but um, so you're looking at it obviously top down. Um, what I find interesting right off the bat is the lack of 310 outline anywhere but then in those like key areas in the jacket and it almost makes it a little blurry to the eyes close up to the point that you you have to try to look and see what the image is it's not as clear cut as like the midnight laundromat is this would all be outlined in black and you can see at what everything is so this is a little bit more of kind of a watercolor kind of the, the colors flow and blend. There's not as many hard stops, if that makes sense. So we have 50 colors here. Um, and this is, once again, a round drill. Drill, um, the clarity, the uh, symbol clarity looks just fine. I'm finding it interesting that Diamond Art Club has decided to use multiple different colored symbols. So we have green symbol with pink background. We have fuchsia, we have a red, we have a blue, and maybe that's the nature of round drill um, because they have to use that color on the outside to completely fill in, um, you know, where the, the round drill is not going to completely connect to the next one. I'm not sure why they do that, but I've typically only seen black or white symbols, so that's cool. Here you have a larger sticker. Um, I think this whole thing is a sticker. Anyway, um, but these are absolutely stickers. These little peelies are all stickers. Um, so that's great for kitting up. You can just snag those and place them right on your, um, your containers. I will say, I, one of the re like, I was so sold on Diamond Art Club. Um, one of the reasons being this, I was like, that's gonna be so easy. And granted, whatever extra space they do give you these blank stickers. These are, these are all pre-cut too and just blank, so I could use those. But I'll show you what ended up kind of bumming me out, and it's not any fault of theirs. It's just something I should have realized. Let me grab this. So this is for the um, Midnight Laundromat um, kit that I'm working on at the same time as that custom. And you can see that because they only give you one sticker per color, if your, if your kit has more than one, you know, whatever your container size is, more than one of those, then you can use that fun, cute, you know, sticker with the symbol, but there's only one. So all of your containers after that are just gonna be, ha be the handwritten. So I appreciate it, but the, the OCD, I guess, if you want to call it that side of me, this feels very haphazard. I do not like the fact that some are handwritten or some are not. And then someone did tell me, well, Anthony, you could just fill one container with your sticker and then leave the rest of those three tens in their bags until you need them. That's cute and all, and I guess I could store the extra baggies up here, but I'm also a completionist, and it and it causes me stress to think that these diamonds would be living in two different homes. I want them all here, which is why I have so many of these containers, because every time I want to go kit something up so I can work on it, I'm like, I it's got to have a home, so I have a lot of these now. Um, so that's a personal preference thing. I just, I think at the end of the day, I'd rather keep my walking legend intact so I can reference that and just handwrite them all and not use the stickers. Controversial statement, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so let's dive into these drills. I don't remember how many ABs we have in here or anything like that. Um, let's see what we've got here. And we're gonna breeze through this because this was almost like two reviews and my, I feel like my videos are getting longer and longer, but as long as you're okay with it, I'm okay with it. I need to start do it, cranking out some short ones though. So we're just gonna run these through these in no particular order. 3841, 3837, 915, 
600, 33.25, I really like that. 602, 36.08, 37.55, 210, 333, uh, 519, 154, 917, 155, 3607, 304, 550, 798, 208, and another, did we already have a 334? Guess not. 334. I feel like I said that. Interesting. Okay. So there's that. This color scheme is right up my alley. I love these pinks and purples and lavenders and fuchsias. Um, this is, I, this is kind of like my ideal color scheme. <laughs> um, love 3811. It's kind of that, um, it's not quite mint. So it's got a slight tinge of blue to it. 209, 5200, 797, 796, 820. Looks like you have two bags of those. And 939. Wow. Uh, a kit with only one bag of 939. That is rare for me these days. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, th those space canvases with the space, like, black background. Oh, my goodness. Um, we've got 603, 775. I love that. How does that compare to... Ooh, this one is more of a true mint, and this has more of that blue. I wonder if you can see that on camera. Interesting. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Okay, so then we have, starting at this end, 3778... 3746, 666, 498, 758, 604, 891, 321, 814, 3078, 744, 3846, 128, our first AB, kind of a soft pink, 138, more of a, I don't want a sky, not quite a sky blue, but um, a nice lighter blue. 601, 310. Oh my God, that's all the 310s in this whole... Uh, this is going to be a blast to work on. Yay! Okay, <laughs> 605, 3609, 327, and our last AB 126. Kind of a, lot, a soft lavender. So that's what we have. I really, really like this color scheme. Um, these these uh, darker, or this darker yellow, some of these browns and um, kind of burnt oranges, they look a little bit out of place when the bags are out, but when you see the actual image and um, the rendering in person, it makes sense that some of these street lights are gonna have some tones that aren't quite the same as the majority of the canvas. It, it's crazy to me that this looks so dark here, right? This all looks very dark on the image, but you're not seeing a boatload of 310s and uh, 939s. So I'm curious to see what color they're using in the bulk of this. It looks like it's a percent sign and our percent sign is going to be that 939. So they are using it there. We also have a fair amount of L and L is, that's a seven. See, see how you can get yourself in trouble. <laughs> um, where is L? Let me look at it from the side. L... Someone probably already knows because they have this canvas and they're like, what are you talking about? It's a seven. Um, L, red L. Anthony, it's 5,500. <laughs> so uh, 5,500 looks like it's one of these kind of ready brownie maybes. 5,500, no, it's that, it's that deep purple. So they've used that deep purple in her um, kind of rain jacket or kind of hoodie with the rain jacket over. So that's that. I'm going to set these jewels aside so we can take a look at this canvas again. Um, one thing that I have noticed um, that at first when I was working on Midnight Laundromat, I didn't quite see it, but now, especially in this canvas, um, Diamonds and Washi always mentions that there's sparkle to the poured glue that's used on Diamond Art Club's canvases to give it just a little bit more sparkle, maybe especially on these rounds where that canvas is gonna peek through. And I always, I've always heard her say that, I'm like, okay, I mean, calm down. I don't know what you're talking about because I, I've looked at Midnight Laundromat and I didn't really see it. But in this canvas, the there is an iridescent kind of glittery look to the entire drill field that is so interesting and I cannot wait to start painting or uh, uh, painting with this or working on it. So amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I'm every time I open one of these Diamond Art Club kits, I'm more and more impressed with just the attention to detail, the quality, 
there is a stark difference in canvas quality <laughs> compared to anything else I've used. And there is a, um, you know, a noticeable difference in um, how the drills lay, how they feel placing them. This, they just feel really nice. Um, I won't say who I think is fairly close <laughs> to, from an experience standpoint for me at this time, because I think people would immediately try to find me and stalk me and, and hunt me down. So um, I love it. I love working on this canvas. It's a lot of fun, um, or not this canvas, but Diamond Art Club. It's been a lot of fun working on Midnight Laundromat. I'm only like three sections into it, but I'm really enjoying it. So I'm looking forward to getting to this one. Um, I have another uh, canvas that I, I wanted to show you, but this is too long. So we'll do another unboxing another time. But let me know if you have worked on um, Transparent uh, by Yumi Art uh, from Diamond Art Club and what your experience was, if you have any tips or tricks for making this the best diamond painting experience it can be. I'm always looking for um, suggestions on improving my, um, you know, how I do this craft. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching and as always, have an excellent day. Bye. Boop.